What's up guys, this is Shana and today we are at Stoner Tree KL. Let's go! We are at Jalan Stoner today and this road is rather famous because of its proximity to the city like especially KLCC so if you just look around you are just surrounded with high rise the town planning here is also somewhat very weird where you have a dead end that connects to another person's piece of land so in this case at the end of the road you will have a car park area and today will be a collaboration with a friend uh, quite interesting though this is where really height matters when you're located within all these high rise lah. so Will be the entrance and you can look at the flooring right stone finish such luxurious and that will be the drop off and this will be the louvers somewhat hide or conceal the elevator car park and that will be a car park going in so right after you come in you can immediately feel the main difference between the interior and the exterior right externally you can feel the traffic noise you can really feel the hustle and bustle of the city itself within 15 to 20 minutes walk you can already reach klcc area but when you want to come home it's important that you feel like home and in this project i think they did it really well when you come in there's a lot of seating areas then the mood of lighting is excellent the stone finishes on the wall and the floors are nicely matched then they also integrate a lot of natural elements like the water bodies and the pebble stones to trees check out the pond here you have toys that's nice you have the pebble stones they just soaked with water to create that tranquility feel and next to the entrance also you will have this concierge space then on the same floor we are now on the way to the car park area you can see the floorings you have all these grooves to somewhat slow you down also you have the ev charging ports here very good and just something to take note right this is the building this is the neighbor this is another neighbor okay that is also our neighbor walking up the elevator car park this will be it you have some epoxy paints and they use traditional beams and columns for construction then for higher end properties it's very important that you also need to know the gradient of the ramp because you will have owners with sports cars they are very particular about the gradient if not they will scratch their car <laughs> so on a normal basis this is how the car park area will look like it's rather dark Right? But for those who park here, it will be a tandem car park. Now we are in the facility deck. You will have a timber deck next to your lap pool. And part of it is actually shaded. So on top of that structure will then be your gym. So one thing to talk about, right, is when they twist the orientation of the building into a diagonal form that creates very special spatial qualities within the facility deck so you have this kind of pocket where it's open because the building is tilted into a direction suddenly you have this amazing angle which is very very nice and next to the pool area you have all these little pavilions and you just check out the floor materials right it's very consistent from the ground floor upwards then even the same patterns are applied look at the spray paint textures wow following that you also have on the walls as well so it's a very consistent pattern applied through all the common areas Then at the end, you have this uh, conference room that can be used for meetings or gatherings and there will be a small garden at the end. I don't know whether it's intentional but I like the pebble stone. This really makes you feel every step you go around this area and they also apply this same language along the perimeter. So this kind of treatment definitely gives texture to the space. This space is just so nice. Wow. So again, with the tilt of the orientation, you will have diagonal lines 
even the shadows across spaces. And for homes, especially within the CBD area, it's important that the facility has this ability to take you away from all the busyness, all the noise. And I think in this particular design, it works. So right next to that, you will have this children playground and they have their very own wading pool inside. So that's cool. And you'll constantly have sirens blaring around, traffic honking around the entire neighborhood. And you can almost feel it because right next to this, right, will be Jalan Tun Raza already, which is one of the infamous streets for traffic jam. Lah. And again, with that space to really escape reality for a while. At the corner, you have this yoga deck or this pavilion for you to just relax a little bit. Where you have a different textures of pebble stones and you have this timber deck covered with concrete slab. And I like the designer actually left it unfinished. You can see still the bits of the form works, the unevenness. Then right in front, you have this water feature. So that will mask whatever traffic noise that's going on outside. But as awesome as this space can be, it's next to the kids' wading pool. So <laughs> maybe you can only come here at night? I don't know. Like when the kids are here, right, I don't think so you will have any peace and quiet here. Lah. Next to that, you have this kitchen. I think this will cater for the function room. Lah. This is where you can hire your own private chefs to prepare food. While you have private gatherings with your friends. So about this facility, that I like it because it has the ability to take you away in terms of noise, in terms of spatial quality, in terms of foliage, to just help you escape for a while. And they add in a lot of textures, from smaller pebbles to bigger pebbles, from using water, fountain sound to mask the noise. And the choices of landscape is a little bit more grainy, where they pick leaves that are smaller. That's just really soothing. I like it. That just does not take away the distance of your neighbor right next to yours. So one floor above, you have the gym which is across. So right now, we are actually stepping on top of a swimming pool across this cantilever slab. So in terms of architecture-wise, it's amazing. However, with that kind of treatment, you don't have that usual cardio area facing pool. You'll be looking across this car park area and right there, you have Minara Felda already and that will be KLCC. So it's really close. However, this land still belongs to somebody else. Lah. So you have your assault bike, your rower, your skier. You also have your punching bag and free weight area. And I really like the ceiling treatment. It just expose everything and that kind of work for the overall space. Now we are at the highest floor and that's just a simple garden with a meeting room and a barbecue pit. So this is where you can really invite your friends, gather around and have a good time along with the skyline of KL. You can really see the skyline of KL. This is one of the rooms here and they even have TV being set up on both sides, right? So it's either you can have conference here or meetings here, but to me, we can actually watch NBA here. La. <laughs> Especially with your buddies, right? And I like they let everything be as open as possible so you have a lot of daylight into the space. Simple furniture, but it works. Then as to those sitting areas, we have two barbecue pits. And I like the consideration of having one halal and one non-halal together, right? So there's a clear separation, which I really appreciate. And throughout the facility decks, you have this glass and steel handrail for you to have maximum view. And that will be Prince Scott Hospital. And further around, that will be TRX and that will be IKEA's area already. So here you somewhat catch that glimpse of the golf area. And this illustrates the importance of height when being in KL City. Also, something to highlight would be the very weird town plannings around this area. They are super high rise here, but yet still have landed bungalows like that, which is amazing. So something to think about, just imagine if your office towers are just among one of these, then this location might be a very sensible one. Right across then you will reach 
PLCC area already. Here will be Jalan Ampang area and you will have the new MRT stop around here. One thing to also highlight among buildings, right? You still have all these empty spots. And that's also good and bad. Right? Good thing is there's still empty space among building back here. It's just a matter of time. And the other end, we have this little chili farm here, which is somewhat the vertical green initiative where you get to still plant some of the herbs you want. So just give yourself that nice balance between nature and urbanism. Lah. Okay, I think that's all. Let's head on to the unit. Coming out from the lift, this will be the lift lobby. Similar stone finish on the floor and you have that thick skirting. This is a thing now, like a towel size. And that somewhat matches the switch panel as well, your way findings. It's around 2.6 meters width and around 2.6 meters high. I'm just not too sure why you have holes like this. And it feels kind of dark that side because the view are blocked. So you, the only source of light will be from this window panels and there will be in total of 12 units per floor plate divided into two wings sharing five lifts and one service lift and you can really see the diagonal form but it's still sensible to keep the unit straight so that's more efficient because of the diagonal form again you have this very weird experience of walking to this corridor that is 1.7 meters in width around 2.6 meters in height and these are nice wow and you can see the effort in trying to break away from that huge plane of walls around a corridor which is somewhat scary to certain people. They place in four leaves like this to somewhat break the entire corridor. Now we are going to check out type E, one, two, three, two square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. And once you come into the unit, immediately you will have this kitchen space right in front then you will have your dining and living connected to the balcony then it's pretty standard where you have the three bedroom you have the three bathrooms and two of them will have their own ensuite bathroom which is cool and you have one common bathroom here along with the bedroom so it's a pretty straightforward unit all together coming right to the end this will be the unit they're going to check out right you will have a foyer a rather tight one and that connects us to the unit you will have your kitchen space on the left you have DJ Trich oven here I think this is the fridge right yep so this is the fridge you will have a work area and all these will be provided along with the unit itself it includes the towels the basin then you also have your hood and hog by DJ Trich very nice this backsplash along with all the sockets there and all these wood patterns looks really nice especially under that yellow light lah. so there will be a drop in the kitchen space where this is only 2.5 meters and at the dining and living it will be 3 meters so this will be way more comfortable along with your timber floorings and coming into the living room area the wall to wall width here will be around 3.3 meters with this 3 meters height I think that's solid and for a free whole unit like this it's going to cost around 2 million depending on which floor and which package because they will be offering a fully furnished one versus a semi furnished version so there will be some difference please do check with my friends and moving across the space you will have your balcony I think it's important to check the noise level right outside you have Jalan Tun Raza already if you immediately feel the intensity of traffic so this is a three feet balcony right with tiles and you have spray paints on the wall steel and glass handrails and something to be very concerned of will be the immediate side condition you still have blocks that will be coming out right in front of you so in the future this view won't be here anymore then you have the traffic at the far end and there are certain remarks made by the buyers where if you are quite particular about angles facing you you will have lots of them here few reasons because all buildings are just trying to maximize views without compromising overlooking but it's a very hard thing to do when your surrounding is ever changing last time it used to be a very nice view now suddenly no more view for your aircons will be concealed within the ceiling right and that connects us to the rooms but something to just highlight right this space here it's very nice 
as you don't really have that very long corridor, that linear corridor that you usually have for three bedrooms, this one is done up really well. A space like this is pretty rare where in the corridor you still get to put a sitting area. So moving on, this will be the very first bedroom and you have your timber flooring, timber skirtings and this is the room with also their own ensuite and they will be giving Toto that's nice for basin and Toto for WC full height wall tiles, shower, shower screen and you have a ventilation system although you have the window so that's nice, so this is exactly what you will get one concern I have here will be for the flooring right? so if you can see the toilet flooring is really nicely done but this piece will be the flooring that's at risk right because you will have your wet feet constantly stepping this piece eventually this will be rotten in a matter of time but i like the groove lines that separates out the door frame with the wall that's very tidy and this will be the bedroom space after putting two singles beds here you have your water space here and there will still be space for circulation which is nice and this will be the almost full height window that comes along with your helmet for your curtains and the aircon units will be hidden behind all this and this will be the views that you'll be getting overlooking issues is almost definite here unfortunately moving on this will be the two bedrooms on this side and the guests and the user for this room will be sharing this common bathroom and the layout for the bathroom is rather peculiar similar treatments you have Toto for basin and your WC I like the tiles texture you can see these grains that's so unique then you have Hans Grohe here for shower ventilation system because there's no window here and the usage of yellow lights around the unit is quite spot on it gives you that luxurious hotel feel and next to that will be the second bedroom and you will have the Tun Raza view at the end so from wall to wall is 2.9 meters and you have a double bed here along with your wardrobe at the side and you still have circulation space of around 3 feet and the views that you will get for this unit will be this okay so this is relatively an okay view in a period of time <laughs> and what I just wish developer would dress up would be these fins of slabs here couldn't they just do something, spray paint it or just clean it up or something? Right? And finally, this will be the principal bedroom and this is why. So this unit really demonstrates the point of CBD living, right? If you are going for places such as Bangsa South, such as Mong Kiara, such as KL Central and such as KLCC, as I strongly advocate in the channel, that's always good and bad. Good is when you have all the convenience of all the facilities, all the amenities around. Because of its density, there will be a lot of population. Therefore, there will be a lot of commercial areas in order to support those populations. But when you have buildings very close to each other, there will be several things that happen. First of all, the lower units will tend to be dark provided on the orientation if you are always at the east or west line of things then you have shadow casting across your unit and if you are quite particular about daylighting that's something to take into consideration the other one will be overlooking issues so overlooking is when you are swimming or you're just hanging out at your balcony but there will be another person looking right in front of you and every time you want to open up a curtain to just somewhat enjoy the view you'll have a neighboring building tenant looking at you right into your unit so that will be another issue bedroom here is 3.1 meters in width so you put in a king size bed you still have so much space to walk around you can allocate your dressing table then next to your wardrobe space but there will be a drop then for view wise we have that same view facing Tun Raza so they did something that I really like which is to conceal the toilet space so Across this, you will have this hidden door and that connects you to the bathroom space. Whoa! That's cool. So you have a sensor for your WC and your basin. Both are from Toto and you have this long countertop. This is cool. This is the sunken bathtub. One of the favorite for our Japanese friends, right? But you'll be taking your bath next to units like then i like this too so you have a window panel that access to the compressors that's very nice very safe from the toilet hey guys i think that's all for the unit it's now time for sean take three on three three things i really like number one would definitely be the kl address part of it 
that's connectivity so it's really close to Jalan Ampang if you choose to walk <laughs> but if you choose to drive there's no other way but to still drive around and that is going to take you around 15 to 20 minutes and then this Lake location is just popular with amenities, right? If you need any dining, any luxury stuff, commercial needs, being very close to the offices, and this will make a lot of sense if you are actually working in the offices nearby, right? Because a rental like this is going to go around 4,000 to 4,005. Then the next thing I like would be the architectural treatments, that decision to tweak the building, right? To suddenly slide the building in an angle. That creates a lot of dynamism across the space. So if you look into the facility, that you will have shadows at angles, you have slabs at angular directions, right? That creates dynamism. Also the swimming pool, because of that form, they will need to cope with the outer lines of the boundary. Therefore, the form of the swimming pool takes place in a very dynamic way. That creates certain experience within the corridor space. After the lift lobby, you will have this pocket of space because of the angles. I like that they keep the building in a tilt form, but they choose to remain the units at a straight line. So that's very important. We have seen buildings with tilt interiors and that didn't really work. Lah. Also something to highlight here in this same note will be the treatments of the common space, right? And that's point number three. So you can see things are rather simple when you go into the drop-off area, the lobby area, the facility decks, the treatments of the yoga deck or whatsoever. Those are really simple to do in an afterthought scenario. It means that you see how they are done. It's quite simple, right? But the choice of plants, the choice of pebbles of different sizes, and to choose to elevate that gym across the swimming pool. Such simple things are the hardest things to do. And it's just really practical because they don't have much size to play with. So that's something I really, really enjoy. Then the three bad things I don't like is also pretty similar. The first one, which is being located in the city center. Here, you will have a lot of congestion. Definitely, you will have a lot of noise. I think in the room, not so much. Right, but at the common areas, you definitely will feel it. And you have a lot of neighboring buildings just dwarfing you, especially when this building height is not high enough. And that seems to be the concern of locating yourself in this road. Plus, there's an international school which is around Persiaran Stoner as well on normal school days. Yeah. So, point number two, also the same thing. After your building is being angled in a certain direction, your building becomes an outcast facing other people's angles as well okay so when you open your particular balcony or window you will be constantly facing other people's angles right and if you really are into feng shui or something that's something very much to take into consideration but the normal spaces are still in linear forms which i like only experiential spaces are arranged in that direction so that's still manageable and last of all there are just way too many choices here for this price range there's easily you stone throw away there's another 20 different properties with this price range hence it's also good for consumers right so for consumers there's a lot of other choices that you can go and visit entirely up to you up to your individual preference on whether you want a setting that is closer to the highway so that gives you more connectivity or you want something more private with in the interior smaller roads that gives you more serenity if you look into the neighbors here within the car park areas so there's just a lot of sports cars so i can see people start moving in already unfortunately this building was completed in 2019 by mco happened and i think that's all for this episode so shout out to the two friends i have jesse and samuel for showing me around what do i think i think this is different this is in a smaller private setting, in a smaller location, smaller building and everything because of that limited amount of space, they have done their best. There's no wasted angle, everything is based on practicality and I guess that's the urban living lifestyle that we have in Malaysia. And with that, thank you very much. Cool fact, we met a f an audience right on the rooftop, so if you're watching, hi. Thank you very much for watching. If you really like this episode, like it, share it and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, Sean Tan.